everyone, today we are going to be reviewing the Rogable. If you guys have Instagram or Facebook, I'm pretty sure you're getting this ad over and over and over, especially if you have pets and you're always looking at things that have to do with pets. They claim to be one of the easiest rugs to clean for household with multiple pets, so we obviously have to get it. Venus and Apollo, they tend to dirty a lot. The rug that we have in the back door, they dirty it all the time, especially when it rains. So we're always washing the rug. We wash it at least once or twice a week, sometimes even more in rainy season. Right now, I buy my rugs on Target, but they only last a few months and then they start getting all the threads, they start coming apart. After a few washes, they do look really ugly. And if I forget and I put like different colors with it, sometimes they get ruined. So all the claims that this rug have, they is super easy to wash and reattach. And it's supposed to be um, very durable. So we want to test it. We test the rug for, originally I was gonna just do it for five days but then on the sixth day it rained horribly and it got super super dirty so it was perfect for me to add another day and wash it again to see it, how it came out after the second wash and so far i have to say that i'm very pleased with the rollable when you put it together the first time they're a little hard to put so you i recommend you to watch a video on how to do it because you have to roll it up and then spread it in the beginning, I was trying to put the corners with the corners because I thought the base layer, it was the same size as the rug and it's not, it's shorter. So, but when I got how to do it, I love how easy it is to put together, how easy it is to take it apart and how lightweight it is. It washed pretty well. That was another thing that I really like. It came out super clean and it was muddy. You will see in the video how muddy it was. It got super dirty and I was a little skeptical because sometimes I have to wash the rug twice. The other rugs I have, I have to sometimes wash them twice when they are so muddy. But with one wash and one dry, it came out super nice. That's another thing. It dry in one dry. All my other rugs, I sometimes do have to dry them three and four times for them to dry. And that's a lot of waste of energy and electricity bills. So I love the fact that it dry in one dry and I put it on super delicate and low air. So I was very surprised with that. I love that. Apollo, he's a fan of it. He's been sleeping on the rug as soon as we bring it home. He claimed it his, he loved it. And the hair situation, surprisingly, is not that bad. And a lot of the other rugs, especially in the corners, you see like a lot of hairs that stick on. And this one, I've been looking for hairs and they don't seem to stick as much as they stick to the normal rugs that we used to use before. So that is a huge plus because I don't see the craziness of fluffiness <laughs> on top of the rug, which drives me crazy. One of the things that make me wash the rug the most, other than mud, is when I start seeing that they start getting so full of fur. If you have an Instagram, with the dogs or you follow a lot of dogs i'm pretty sure you're gonna get this ad at least once a day i get it all the time in between videos in between pictures and this is the rugable it's supposed to be a pet friendly rug and easy to wash so i have to have it we have buy like a gazillion rugs from target and after a few months, they get ruined, especially when I wash them too much. Especially in the rainy season, when they are bringing a lot of mud inside the house. And it gets dirty in like two days, and I have to be washing it. So I decided to give it a try to this one to see how good it is. And it, all the claims, they are super pet safe and washable are true. So let's open it.
this is the mat that goes in the floor and like you can see it have like a rubbery on the back and it's, this part is like a velcro so the velcro go on the top I can't figure it out how to put it, so I'm gonna watch a video and I see you soon. So I watched a video and it said to do a roll and then unroll it, that that's the easy way to put it. So I'm gonna try that now. Apollo, what do you think of your roll, buddy? So you need to leave like one inch to the side here, more or less, I will, I will say like two inches to overhang in both sides. That was my mistake that I was doing wrong. I was trying to put the rubber all the way to the... I thought the rubber was the same size of the rock, so I was trying to fit it perfectly and I couldn't do it. You have to leave like two inches in the front and like two inches on the back. Apollo, what do you think of the rug? Do you like it? Is it comfy? You look pretty on it. You could be a model for the rug for sure. <laughs> I love some of the claims that this rug have. One is manufactured in the US. Another one is that it's made out of recycled polyester. Is 95% recycled polyester and the box are also created with 67% recycled materials and they are committed to be planting over a hundred thousand trees this year to help the off the offset print of their carbon footprint So today is February 10, I'm gonna be waiting for 5 days to see how dirty they get and in 5 days I'm gonna wash them. I got two, one from downstairs and this one, they're the same color. And in 5 to days when I wash them, I will show you how they came out of the washer and if it was easy to wash them, if they clean good, if they tear or anything. Right Pocket? You're gonna help mommy? You too, Venus? Okay, you guys are gonna... You're gonna help mommy. You're gonna help mommy, okay. So this one is the downstairs rug and this one has getting way more dirt than the one that we have upstairs. Especially this side that is the one from the door. We're coming in and out by this side and you can see this side is a lot dirtier than the side I'm standing right now. So today is the day number five. Today we're going to wash it. Before I wash it though, I want to drop a little bit of water on it to see how much uh, absorb and if it's easy to clean spills on it. So let me spill a little bit of water. Apollo is going to be so confused. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. So the water pretty much stay on top. I don't know if you could see it. It's taking a little bit of time to go in the fibers. Let me see if we could spot clean like this. If it's water, you can spot it clean and it absorbs pretty fast. What do you think, buddy? 
So let's go and wash it now. Here it is before we wash it. It's safe to wash it in cold water with a soft detergent that doesn't contain chlorine or bleach. I'm using the Mrs. Meyer detergent. This one is one of my favorite detergents. It smells really good. It's cruelty free and it's clean products. So now it's washed, let's dry it. So I put it on the super delicate and extra low. Here is the rug after we wash it and dry it. It looks perfect condition, like the seams are okay. They don't look like they got messed up at all. There's nothing poking out. They feel soft and they look very clean. <laughs> is this is your rug, buddy? I washed the rug yesterday for the video and then today we got a thunderstorm and a lot of rain and it's dirty again so when it stops raining we will go for wash number two and let's see how the rug does after a lot a lot of mud it was dirty yesterday when we washed it but not as dirty as today like look at this look at that perfect paw it will be perfect for a tattoo Now let's talk about the cons. The biggest con is how expensive they are. They start in 109 to 540, depending on the size that you want. The size that we got, that it was five, um, I think it was five by seven. It was $200. So they are expensive. I want to see how long they last. If they last me the whole year, they're they still expensive <laughs> they're still expensive but normally the rugs that I buy in Target they're like around 20 to 30 dollars so that's a big different price in the price tag though I spend three four times drying them so this one dry them in the first try so it saved me time time is money and all that and save me money in the electricity bill so I guess is how you see it, but the front cost is expensive. One of the things that I love is all the different options they have, and they have a collection for Disney, and I want them all. When I saw the Disney collection, I was like, I want them all, but then my husband was the one that shoes them, and he got them before I had the chance to choose them myself, and he shoes one more neutral. <laughs> But the Disney ones are beautiful. They also have a Star Wars collection. If you have young boys in your house who like Star Wars, they're super cute. And some of them, they're Star Wars, but it's very hard to tell they're Star Wars. So they're perfect for like a young teenager that they don't want like in your face Star Wars, but they still want it there. I think they are really, really clever. I really like a lot of the styles. They have different styles for different tastes. They have neutral, they have ones that look more like edgy, other ones that look like more like traditional Moroccan um, rugs. I really hope they last a long time because if they do, I'm buying one of the Disney ones for this room. This is my makeup slash working out room filming area. <laughs> And I don't have a rug in this room, so I think if I'm really pleased with the other two that we have and I still love them in like 3-4 months, I'm buying one for this room. So 
So that was it. That was our review of the Rogable. I really liked it a lot. I recommend that it's expensive. Have that in mind. They are very expensive. But they're so easy to wash and they're so beautiful. They're so lightweight. It has so many pros that I think you could overlook a little bit the price. So it's up to you if you like them, if you have pets. And if you have kids, because kids can then get messy too. So if you like them, I will say go for it. Well, that was it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.